Meanwhile, families in Upperland Park are fed up with crime tonight after an eight-year-old was shot this morning. And many feel they are not being heard after requesting certain actions be taken in their community. ABC 10's Roxanne Elias has the details. This isn't the first shooting that's happened in the area this summer, and residents say they are sick and tired of hearing shots ring out at all hours of the day. Yep, pop, 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 pop. I mean, it was like that yesterday, day before yesterday. Yeah, it's, it's been a daily recurrence for the last couple days. Amber Green says she was woken up by the sound of several gunshots Tuesday morning. She lives near where an eight-year-old girl was shot along the 2600 block of Kit Carson Street around 4.45 a.m. No suspects are in custody at this time, but let me be explicitly clear. There's absolutely nothing that would justify this little eight-year-old girl in a hospital room fighting for her life right now. The community should be hurt. The police department's hurt right now. Officials were back on the scene around 1 p.m. Tuesday to serve an unrelated search warrant. The girl's shooting happened less than 24 hours after a shooting in the same area where officers found shell casings. 18-year-old Danny Partridge was also shot and killed outside his home in the same neighborhood about two weeks ago. There's a lot of intricate, complex pain that is woven into to every family household here that just... in reinforces that distrust between each other, which causes, which leaves room for violence. T. Trice and community advocate Barry Axius says they've asked property management to add surveillance cameras, speed bumps, and security after last year's shootings, but they haven't seen anything yet. We're the bottom of the barrel. Mm. And to hear the unheard in this community continue to be pushed to the side as if um, their complaints mean nothing we know why, because it's a subsidized community. We tried to speak with management in the office, but they told us no one was available for an interview and they couldn't answer our questions. We also tried to reach out to the office of council member Katie Valenzuela, but are waiting to hear back. If anybody can come by and take and really see and not see the sugar coated what the office would put on for you, honestly, uh, but really see the pain and the fear that goes on here, it's, that would be helpful. Sacramento police are trying to find the motives behind some of these shootings. We don't know if they're connected yet, but they are asking your help in trying to find any information that could connect them to any of the suspects. In Sacramento, Roxana Elias, ABC 10.